Hello my other funsters and welcome to part 36 of Zelda Twilight Princess Casual Let's Play. My name is Mela. In the previous part uh, we were still looking to help Aelia get her memory back and we found a village hidden in a chasm. So we're going to have a little bit of a, a bit of a Metal Gear Solid and we're going to go uh, kill some of the uh, monsters in there. And then after that's done we're going to need to fill out a book with some Japanese characters. Uh, my bed has more uh, of my stuff on it than my desk. Controllers and phones and stuff just throw behind me a rack, um, rack back for later. Pro streamer. <laughs> uh, still good, man. Um, probably what I'd do. Um, I'm thinking of at some point getting like a um, uh, a, a capture card, right? Uh, and playing down in the lounge. But if I do that, then it is literally going to be like, okay, I'm about to stream. Everything basically just goes behind the camera. <laughs> it's just going to be a mess in the room. <laughs> I reckon. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I, I kind of imagine that's what it's like. Um, but I don't know if I'm going to borrow one or actually buy one. I might try and borrow one of my mate, but he needs to be finished with it first. Right. And there's one. We. It's, this is so much easier if they don't spot you. As soon as they spot you, this whole thing just gets really messy really quickly. Um, is there more? Um, I really want to take this super slow. It really is a massive pain if they see you. Oh, we, we've only just got the intro. Okay, that's cool. Oh, I've got the music. It's really cool. Like proper Wild West music. Cool, man. Right. There's this whole thing about Link being a cowboy, isn't there? Boom! Oh, wow. That didn't even touch him. That's okay. We shoot him in the back instead. Oh, right in the neck. Right, there's one all the way over there, look. Boom, 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 boom. Right. These are, as you can see, these are, these barrels are explosive. I'm destroying them anyway because they hurt me as well. So they I, they could basically be used against me, which I'm not really that down for. Uh, okay, right. So there's 11 enemies left. Have I been seen? I don't think so. Good. Thought there was another one there. There are a couple inside, so we will need to get seen eventually, but the less... That have seen you um, at the time that you, uh, you know, you, uh, the less that are alive when they see you, the better, basically. Ha <laughs> ha! Through the window. That was awesome. Right. So there's. I've only got four shots left, and there's nine of them left, so that's a bit of a problem. There's one there, look. Right, I think we're going to need to start going into houses. Can we get in here? Yes, we can. I think I might do it. I'm not sure. I was thinking of maybe taking the sniper scope off. I might keep it on for now. Problem is, I'm running out of arrows. I've only got three left. This concerns me. Right, are there any more mobs I can see from here? There's at least one up on a thing, isn't there? <sighs> no, no, no. Can I not jump across? I guess I can't. Oh, there's, no, there's a thing up there. There's not, there's no one up there, is there? Oh, no, there's no one up there. That's okay. Hmm. Can I get across here? Yes, I can. Okay, brilliant. Is there anyone in here? Okay, I've been seen. I'm being shot at. Okay. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, I see. Right, hold on. I'm hoping that one of these is going to drop some arrows. Hold on. I think I can... I think I can reflect back. If I time this right... Uh, no? 
Oh my god. That was horrible. No? Okay. Okay, it's not working. That's okay. Um, let me uh, uncouple uh, Hawkeye off. Uh, we've only got three shots left, so this slightly concerns me. Right, okay. Why Why did this uh, target come off? What? Oh my god, I've only got one shot left. Alright, shit. Right, I am now out of arrows officially. This is a problem for me. Can I not pick up the arrows? Hmm. Um, concern. Right. How do I get that last guy that's shooting at me if I have no arrows? Where can I get more arrows from? Oh, I can't even kill that one because... Right, hold on. Hoping that someone's going to drop me some arrows. Please. <laughs> oh, thank God. Right, it's only ten arrows, though. It's not really that many. Right, did I see someone in there? No. Right, what I can do, though, uh, let me just put the Hawkeye back on. I reckon I can get that full from here. I can. I'm actually going to destroy the bomb first. That should kill him. Nice! Right, there is four more. Hello, mate. Look at him looking out the window. Oh! I think he may have seen... Did he see me? Ha ha ha! I don't know if he saw me or not, but he, uh, he made a critical error there. Right, let me uh, turn the uh, Hawkeye back off. I need to be able to shoot this guy. Oh, right in the gonads. Nice. Right, I think there's one up on the other side. Did I not see a shadow? There's one left. Okay. Where's the last one going to be? Oh, isn't he in the back or something? He's like out back. He's in like the garden of one of these houses, I think. I vaguely remember this. Can I get through? Yeah, I can. Here we go. Oh! Hello, mate. Where, where, where are you shooting me from? Alright. There you go. That's the last one. Yay! Mission complete. And then someone comes out. This is the original Kakariko village, um, I believe. Um, don't know if that's a fan theory or if it's actually in the Hyrule Historia. I can't remember. Howls of the beasts. They faded into silence. Hello, mate. Wait, are you? The saviour! It's you, the saviour! Please, please forgive me for not opening for the door. My name is Impaz. Hmm. I'm the last resident of this poor village. My name comes from the great one who built this village so long ago. Impa. So this is the original Kakariko, because... Impa built Kakarika Village. This village was once the secret home of a proud tribe who served the royal family, but it fell into decline and has become infested with dangerous beasts. It has become an awful place. Excuse me for asking, but is it your name Mala? I knew it! So then you saved that nice girl. How lovely. When she came here, she would often cheer me up by saying that you would come to help. That sweet girl, she worried about this old woman even as I helped her to escape from here. By royal order, I can't leave this place until a certain person arrives, no matter what terrible fate is visited upon it. But, oh, but listen to me, blather on. I have a favour to ask. Would you help me return this to her? I think she's always kept it close to her heart, but even so, she didn't hesitate to part with it in order to protect me. But Elia's charm, what I want to know is what exactly did Elia's charm do to protect the old lady? It's never explained, I don't think. All right. I believe in my heart that it's kept me safe all this time. Okay. So please, I ask you return it to that girl. No worries. We'll definitely do that, because maybe she'll get more memory back as well, so she'll be able to help us. She has information for us. What does she say? 
That dear girl deserves her charm back. And tell her that the old Biddy is very grateful. Biddy, what a lovely word. Is it locked? Oh no, we can get inside. I don't remember if there's even a thing in here. Uh, I don't think there is. It's just a, a pretty much empty heart. There's just a lovely kettle. And a, a picture of a family, I guess. Bits of, I don't know, maybe a wagon or some kind? All right, let's go. I think we need to leave the village though, because we can't just um, turn into a wolf in front of the old lady. She'll know. Right, let's uh, run. Oh, there's still like bombs and stuff around. I thought I destroyed all of these, or do they respawn after the event? But no. Let us go into Hyrule Field. Just uh, can we do it from here, maybe? Ah, uh, no. We have to actually zone. That's okay. We're going to be um, streaming another Zelda Twilight stream, uh, Twilight Princess stream tomorrow, same time, same place. Another five hours, we're going to look to actually complete the game. Hey, we can teleport now. Beautiful. Um, we need to go back to Kakariko, I think. Speak to Elia. Show her, give her her charm back. Here we are. No worries, mate. No worries. Happy days, right? Oh, that's good. Beautiful. Oh, there's um, Epona as well. We haven't used Epona for ages because we can t we can um, warp. We haven't actually used Epona for absolute donkey's years. Excuse the pun. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, there is a definite dad joke there. There we go. I'm going to just quickly save the game. So uh, let's enjoy this dad joke, shall we, while I'm saving. Uh, I've just written a song about a tortilla. Well, more rap, really. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what a dad joke. Love it. Okay, right. Let's uh, let's continue, shall we? Let's uh, let's give Elia her charm back. Here you go, Elia. We could do with some more arrows, to be fair. Here you go. And is this where she gets like all of her memory back? She finally remembers little old me. Hi, I knew you once. She did. Yes, this feels so familiar. The scent of hay. Would we not have just shown her the horse? Long ago, when we were young, you and I. Hmm? You were always there. You were always beside me. I don't remember this bit. Bella! I remember this bit. I do believe she'll have her full memory back now. Oh, there are the children. So we've sorted them all out now. Uh, all five of them are all completely back to normal. <laughs> I don't know why, that reminds me a little bit of Moonwalker, the um, J uh, Michael Jackson film. Uh, this gift was meant for you. It was something I wanted to give you before you left on your journey. Please, Mela, take it. We're only about, you know, three quarters of the way through the game, but thanks anyway. <laughs> We've got the horse call. Elia made it just for Red Rum, uh, which is what we called uh, Epona in this playthrough. Uh, now you can call Red Rum even when you can't find horse grass. Yeah. You don't need to worry about me any longer. Whenever you return, I'll be waiting for you. Right, wicked. But when you're going to help me about... Mela, do you remember what I was saying about the Rod of the Heavens? Well, actually, it was about the messengers for the heavens who held the rod. The nice woman who saved me told me about it. Apparently, in this woman's village, they've guarded something for the heavenly messenger for generations, so they await him. But they can't give this item away until the messenger returns with the rod. That's the rod that we've got, isn't it? 
That is why the lady couldn't leave the village, you see. Say, Mellor, do you have any idea who this messenger to the heavens might be? It's me! Or even what the rod is. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, right, let's leave. So we need to go and show the old lady in the village the rod uh, of the heavens. Uh, the Dominion Rod. Let's go. Back to the Bridge of Elden. Oh, yeah, we need to actually select warp, don't we? We're not going anywhere unless you do that right. It's here, I think. Oh, yeah, this is the one. So does that mean that you can't complete the game unless you return the bridge to its rightful place? I think actually you can still get to where we where we are without it. It's just a longer way around. You have to like go to the Nehru province and then go south. Alright. I think we're quicker as a wolf. So uh, we're just gonna make a boot for it. Uh, there's no need to fight. Um, like we did on our previous time that we came here. It's around here somewhere, isn't it? We've literally only been here like less than 10 minutes ago and I've already forgotten exactly the location where we need to be going. It's... This is it, isn't it? Isn't it? Have I just gone around in a circle? I'm an idiot. Right, okay. Ah, oh, it's around here. Is it maybe past these idiots? I think it might be. Across the bridge maybe? I, I can't remember. Ah, this is it. Right, well, uh, we'll transform. There's a thing there, isn't there, um, for the spinner. Maybe we should go and get that on our way back out. That seems like a good shout. Right, here we are again in the hidden village, the original Kakariko village. Anyone who's been following the story. Right. So here we are again. We don't have to fight through it again, I don't think. There's no mobs. Oh, yeah, there's that mini game, isn't there, here, where you've got to collect all the cats. Thank you. Can I pick you up? No, oh, look at the cute little catty. Kitty, kitty, catty. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's a tabby cat. Anyway, anyway, we'll put you down. It's a tabby gator cat. No, right, right, we're going to go in here. <laughs> right, um... I think we just show her the rod, don't we? Where did all these cats come from? Jesus, there's so many. Right. Is that girl doing alright? Yes, she is. I haven't uh, I haven't much to offer, but please make yourself comfortable here. That's okay. Uh, I would like to show you this rod. <gasps> hey, that rod! That... Is that the Dominion rod? Could it really be? Are you the messenger to the heavens? Among the legends of my clan, there is a story from the time when the... Jemimas, still ma maintained contact with the royal family. Yes, it is said that a mysterious rod was handed down from the people of the sky. It was called the Dominion Rod. The rod was only to be carried by the messenger to the heavens when the royal family needed to communicate with the Jemimas. From generation to generation, my ancestors have guarded the book that, by royal decree, was to be given to the messenger of the heavens. This is that book. Please take it. There we go, we've got the Ancient Sky Book, a book written in essentially old Japanese. Uh, a word uh, in it seems to be missing letters. Okay. This book is written in the ancient language of Japanese. I'm so glad I stayed in this village. Uh, if I had not met that young girl, what would have become of me? Meeting that girl must have been ordained by the gods so that I could be here today to pass on this knowledge. That is brilliant. Okay, and now you can leave if you like, uh, milady. I was meant to pass on that ancient book from the heavens to you. Please take care of yourself. I shall. Farewell. And of course, now that she... Oh, look, the little cats are trying to follow me out the door. That's so cute. Now that we... Um, now that she's on the inside, I believe we can now warp out here. Actually, actually, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to talk to the cat as a wolf. Excuse me, are you going to talk to me? Do something fun with us. Ask the Kako leader about it. No, I'm alright, actually. <laughs> oh, no, 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 that was the wrong button. Okay, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. Right, we need to go um, back 
to the shaman's house in Kakariko. Uh, but what we need to do is we need to go back down into the cellar and speak to. I forget the I, me, I forget the man's name. He's the guy with the soft voice. Um, the like the scholar. Um, Shad. Shad. Shad was his name. I remember. All right. Let's just take a very brief moment just to save. I'm saving relatively frequently because I'm still convinced that we're going to have a crash at some point. I really don't want to lose uh, any progress. Alright, let's go into the cellar uh, of the shaman's house. And we'll give the book that we've just been given uh, that's written in uh, basically ancient Japanese uh, to Shad, who can read it. That's called skywriting, but if you listen very carefully to the voice acting, it is clearly Japanese. Uh, I shall show you. Here's the book. What is this? Our oh, skywriting. Where in the blazes did you get this? You don't suppose this could be the word that breaks the seal? Listen. It does nothing. Now, I don't know enough about Japanese to know what he's saying, but I know enough about Japanese to know that that is definitely Japanese that he's speaking there. No reaction. So, it is not the statue. Uh, this statue. Ah, Mela, thanks. Uh, thanks ever so. You have brought me one step closer to solving this puzzle. I shall give the book back to you. Now I shall try out this word on other statues. I have made the rounds of these statues so many times. I have memorized their locations. I will place marks on your map so you can find them in case you wish to track me down. Remember, every one of those marks is near an owl statue. Now, excuse me, and off he pops. And what we've actually done when he spoke that Japanese is uh, we've reactivated the Dominion Rod. Mystical Rod breathes life into ancient statues. It's been reactivated. Which is fantastic. Uh, the writing in the book was a spell that imbued the staff with magic. Now you can do the other statues what you did before. So, he did say he would mark on our map wherever there was a statue, didn't he? Then we should go check out those spots, right? Yes, we should. Um, so this particular, uh, if we get our Dominion Rod back out actually, uh, we're going to need this quite a lot. Uh, the Dominion Rod does nothing to this particular statue, as you can see. Uh, but what we do want to do um, is we want to check our map. Uh, what button's the map? There we go. We basically need to find all of these statues. Of course there's one here. Uh, that's the last one that we need. Uh, there's one on the bridge of Eldin, so I think maybe we should go there first, because that's where we just were. So let's go. Uh, off to uh, the bridge of Eldin. There we are. And of course, because Shad has left, we can teleport, which is really helpful of him. There's actually a game-breaking glitch in that room that we were just left. Um, if you're not careful. I can't remember what exactly the, um, the circumstances of it. I think it's if you save or something in that room. Anyway, so that is the owl statue just there. There we go, speaking of a game-breaking glitch. Uh, <laughs> Okay, whoa, what happened there on my other screen? Okay, that's a bit weird. Okay, let's just forget about that. Uh, let us um, get our bow and arrow. We've only got a few um, things left, but that's okay. Uh, we'll put it there. And uh, we'll connect the Hawkeye to it. Right, and we should be able to... I think this is the only mob that we have to kill in order to... Well, we don't have to have to, but we should. There we go. Right in the neck. Beautiful. And then what we could be should be able to do. I can't remember exactly what we have to do. Oh, that's right. There should be a thing underneath. There we go. Look. Ah, and then we just stand on that, and then we get I think a letter in the book, and we've got to fill out the like five or six letters of the book. There we go. Hey, Bob the Nigger Canadian guy. Thank you so much for the host. How are you doing, dude? 
Um, I was so happy to see you in uh, uh, Pigeon Stream uh, the day before yesterday. It was awesome. So we found one character. Um, I definitely enjoyed watching that. It was good. And I downloaded that um, add-on as well. Just woke up a few minutes ago. What time is it there? Um, let's just double check the map to see the best place to go next. So we've got this one. Um, what I think we should do now... We should work our way south. We should get those two next. Uh, that one is on Hyrule Field, so we'll go and get that one. We'll start up north, uh, sort of as far north, and then we'll move our way south. So let's uh, go warp. I think that one is chilling before I get to work, for getting to my work. 11.20. What work do you have to do? Um, is it just normal work, or has you got something special planned? Alright, we're going to go here. Oh my god, um, I might restart the emulator. How am I? I'm doing very well. I've got a... a it's work for work. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. Um, I, I'm doing a weekend of streaming. I'm doing a five hour stream today. But I've also decided uh, that I'm going for a five hour stream tomorrow as well. Same game, we're going to be doing uh, Twilight Princess. So uh, I think that's kind of cool. Uh, I've never done two long streams one after another uh, before, so I'm kind of looking forward to it to see sort of how it goes. But I, I wanted to finish. Um, I wanted to finish Twilight Princess before the new year uh, because I want to get Terraria. So I want to start Terraria in the new year. Uh, I'm going to get like a proper server going um, and invite some people. You are welcome to come. You said you had Terraria. I think it'd be fun to play Terraria together. I'm going to have like um, a proper server going and make it so that people can join at any time. But I was going to make it so that only, like the big things can only be done while I'm around. Uh, so that then, you know, they're the sort of things that will stream. The 51 hour all weekend stream. No. <laughs> no that honestly would kill me. Um, I think I'd die. Um, the longest stream I've ever done is, I think it was about nine, nine and a half hours. Uh, I would be very interested in doing maybe a 12 hour stream. I think I might even just about be able to handle a 24 hour stream, but I'd have to like seriously plan uh, if I was to do that. Uh, I I couldn't make it more than 24 hours. I mean, I can barely stay awake for 24 hours at a time. Uh, 54 hours would genuinely, I think I'd probably die. <laughs> right, um, we need to get this statue. I remember when 12 hour streams were my norm. I'd love to be able to do like regular 12 hour streams. I think that would be a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, my life doesn't really lend itself to being able to do that. Uh, the five um, sort of five to seven hour streams I do, um, they, they work perfectly for the days when I'm off and the wife is at work because basically while she's at work, I stream, uh, which is perfect, um, which is also why I'm streaming this weekend. You see, because uh, she's working this weekend, bless her. Oh, I was hoping for a heart piece. Never mind, Link, put it back. Um, where do we need to get to? I think it's that other one. Right. Uh, but I'd love to be able to stream, like, 12-hour streams. I think especially things like Terraria, the, lo the longer streams uh, kind of work nicely for that kind of game, because you can just kind of chill out and just mash to it. Gotcha. Yeah, man. Um... Yeah, I mean, would you be, uh, Bob, would you be interested in playing some Terraria with me? Um, if, because uh, I'm, I'm going to um, host, like, a, a proper server. I'm actually, like, purchasing a server uh, for a couple of months. Oh, no, it's slightly off. It needs to be a little bit closer. Um, no obligation, of course. Um, I've also got a bit of a Discord server, like a semi-public, um, semi-private semi one. That, um, just the people playing... Terraria with me are going to be invited to. I've had it for years, but I've just kept it private. Uh, I'm going to open it up just to a few people. I think it might be fun. Ah, uh, right. Are we going to make this? Ah, oh, we made it. Nice. Possibly. I have so many games on at the moment. No worries, man. It's up to you. I mean, uh, the idea is that you'd be able to pop in and out any time you want. So we'll see how it goes anyway. So we've got another Sky character. There's still uh, more missing characters, of course. So let's check the map again. Uh, we're now going to go for the next one south, which is this one over here. So we need to go up onto the field. I think actually um, Epona might be quite a useful acquisition. Um, so let's let's get Epona out. We haven't ridden Epona for absolutely ages in gameplay terms. Absolutely ages. Um, let's put her on there. 
I haven't played Terraria in ages. Yeah, to be fair, until I played it last month, I hadn't played it for years. I'm really glad that I went back to it, because it's actually a really good game. I've forgotten how much fun it was. Wait, where did Epona... Oh, there she is. Good old well, end that session there. Thank you very much for watching. Do like and subscribe. You can find me on Twitch. Uh, it's twitch.tv forward slash melar21. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter. It's at melar211. And uh, well, thank you very much for watching. See you next time.